Right, what's going on guys it's your boy back here with a new video today guys we're doing a fire setup for pve this is the best fire gear you can get at the moment there's i don't think anything better that i've been that i've noticed so let's get into it for a hat we have aeon's helm this is the best in slot hat this gives a lot of pierce you could go internal but it's not really worth in my opinion the uh, flamea's hat is also a good alternative it is 150 though so um what makes this hat even what do you like what makes this hat really good too is incendiate if you do any team pvp or team pve with fires incendiate is going to be a fire's best friend fires will love you if you run this thing because of the uh, destroys overtimes and deals 200 percent damage that fire dragons it will do 200 extra percent damage it is beautiful next up we have nullity robe nullity robe is a raid gear and if you can't get this then aeon is your best one your next best another one good alternative is a one for the nightmare I think it's a Nightmare Horde pack, which is just as good. I think you just get a, like three more damage, so it's not even worth, in my opinion. Let's get the Aeons. But Nullity is the best. Aeon second. And then if you really want that three extra damage, go with the Nightmare. Nightmire. Um, next up is the Boots. Aeon Boots is the best boots in the entire game for fire. It has more damage than full Waterworks gear, which is 42 damage. Um, I think Waterworks is 29 damage, which is, this is insane. And you also get a thousand health, 134 block. Like this thing is just sheesh. Out of that, we have the Aeon Sword. Aeon Sword is the most damage you can get for fire and the most pierce. So, pretty good. Um, you get a little miss damage in there too if you want to do some dual schooling. That's not really up my alley. There's some actually a lot of solo players love dual schooling, so I might dabble into that because that looks pretty fun. And then we have Aeon of Fame. Aeon of Fame is the best. You could go Nullity as well but nullity is not as as good as uh, aeons um you kind of get a little bit of extra pips which is not needed for this build and then we have the darkmore amulet darkmore amulet is really good but there are alternatives you could go with the morganth if you do have the old one or if you want you can go to jagoon one which gives a the fire dragon four pips um another good alternative is a uber fresh baker robe or rope this gives a good amount of block and resist and a lot of health. Um, so yeah. then, then we have the Aeon's Ring. Aeon's Ring is the best in slot for fire. 15 damage, 18 pips. Beautiful. Um, this is what they were before. But yeah. So this is a level 121. And then last but not least is a Frillasaur. The Frillasaur is the best pet in the entire game. And it has not been any competition since then. Philosaur, Stompy Bronto, get that extra 8% damage on fire. Like so. And then last but not least is a deck. I have the Aeon deck. You can either go Aeon deck. I mean, you can run pretty much run any deck here because you have perfect pips and accuracy. I chose to go Aeon because I get the extra health. You can go Triangle if you want to have the, like an extra blade, but I don't think it's needed because the amount of damage you have, which I'll show you in a bit. Or you can go the Square Slot. Maybe you want some Stun Resist, some Block, something like that. So the character we have, or we have 9,000 dam 9, damage, yeah. 9,000 health, 215 damage, 33 resist across the board, and 31 accuracy. So we can't fizzle any shadow spells, any lore spells, any of that good stuff. And then we have the critical rating 744, block rating 436. Um, it really doesn't matter. Crit, maybe. Block, who cares? Armor piercing is 55. You're hitting through literally everything. You don't need converts. They have a tower shield. Who cares? They have a shield. Who cares? It's just... Yeah, um, hip conversion fit um, is a 25% chance. I don't really care about this or the arc mastery rating because I'm just gonna blade and fire dragon like every world, everything I do. So yeah, um, power pip is 100%, 98 shadow pip, uh, yeah, shadow pip rating. So uh, from Nullity Rub. Yep, yeah, this is the, the fire, the fire setup. It is a lot of damage. You are hitting through everything. It and it hurts. I believe you're. Meteor can do like 4,000 damage without a blade, so yeah, it's some it's some big boy damage. Next up we have is the kind of just a free to play one. Um, this one is just full Aeon, as y'all can see. Kind of click through it, and then I have Dark More Dark More Amulet, but the same pet, but I just changed them out, and and then I also have a Paradox deck. And then we're looking at 200 damage, shorter for resist, 30 accuracy, still can't fizzle. 
and 57 pierce, which you have a little bit more pierce, and you also have more block too. And 109 pips, the reason it kind of sucks, if you really want to, you can switch your deck out, You maybe you don't want it to have the pips, because you, you'll be at a 99 pips, so like, like you could really like throw on like, a, say a tier deck if you want to or something like that. But you never know, that 1% can always screw you up. You know how KI is with their RNG. Have you seen the packs lately? Anyways. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for that. And then the last one is my tank set. My tank set is 200 damage, 47 resist, 31 accuracy, 739, and 53 armor piercing with 100% damage. All right. And then... The reason, it's pretty much the same exact thing, nullity robe and all that. It's the only thing that's different is the pet and then the Morganth, I, Morganth amulet. The reason why I go Morganth amulet is because I get the extra blades because so, I'm, I'm, I need a little bit of extra damage, a little bit of help since I am tanking. And then I have the Fox. You can go Fox, you can go Armament, or you can also go the Scary Net, or Scary Net, which gives a um, fuel and a um, what is that thing called? I actually forgot what it's called. Fire trap. And this is good for strap checking, and also the fox is good for, you know, blade, and you can do a little bit of strap, trap, trap stacking. Holy cow, words are hard. And then I have the gold trim out. That way I have the extra 3% damage with the Aeon deck. So I have 201. Now if you don't have gold trim, you're just looking at um, 198. Or say if you want to go, if you don't have null the nullity robe, just Aeon. 192, 48, 30, 55, 99. Like it, 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 your, your, your damage. I'm gonna be honest. If you have above at least 180 damage on fire, you're, you're fine. The, the 215, it is quite nice. I will say, you know, you can one shot everything, but you can already one shot most things that are around like 3,000 health to like 3,500 with 180 damage. So it, it's, it's not that big of a deal if you have, you know, like 200 damage or anything like that. I'm gonna be honest, you. Barely would know a difference in PvE, because most of the time, if you're fighting a boss, you'll be blade stacking anyways, and then using a hit to one-shot it. So, but yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and liked it. Um, if you have any questions on where some of the bosses are, check the central. The central is Wiz's best friend, or your best friend too. Um, but Nullity, and then Aeon is pretty much all over the place. Yeah, that is all. I'll see y'all later, and peace out.